Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to talk and show the best performance of Cavalier. I'm not going to lie fellas, this vehicle is not good, this vehicle is not decent, I think I would rate this vehicle as pretty uh, bad tank in the world of tanks, and I know this vehicle is leading towards the Cromwell, right, as you can see, um, we have Cavalier and it's going towards the Cromwell, but fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I swear to Banana Lord, it wasn't very enjoyable experience to play with this tank, and I think it has something to do with a, with a bad combination of the things. Uh, this this tank has two uh, competitive guns in my opinion, plus on top of that derp gun. So uh, derp maesters, uh, the ones who likes to troll around and uh, use 200 shell velocity rounds, okay. Uh, maybe you are going to have a good time with this. I couldn't play with this gun, I just simply felt like I I don't enjoy myself. Moving on next, there is two other guns which you can use, 100 alpha damage or 110 alpha damage and 75. 75 uh, is working the best for me because um, gun accuracy is the best and in the same time penetration with the standards and gold ammunition is just simply highest, so you won't have that much problems. Obviously alternative option is better DPM gun and 100 and um, alpha damage but the thing is penetration is way 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 lower and this can be a problem in a way right obviously if you are spamming full gold maybe it is not that bad but once again I didn't I wasn't spamming the full gold all the time with this vehicle that's why anyways the most important thing is we are done with this tank GG finito and we finish at this tank in 54 games we have 59% win ratio we have 1000 average damage and 600 average assistance damage and as you can see 100% of the mark of excellence done now I believe we can teleport into the action and you will see from two to three uh, good games with a cavalier and uh, I assume this is the last time you are going to see this uh, tank in action in this YouTube channel so uh, let's see what we manage to craft with this tank shall we let's go and we are back in action fella so this is the best game I ever had with a Cavalier. Um, in this game we are going to craft the most damage ever and uh, obviously who could expect that fellas but we are having a field of the Prokurovka. So how the things are looking like here, there is many 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 strategies how you can play this uh, map. Uh, option number one, typical position, Charlie one. Option number two, try to spot in front, maybe somewhere here. Option number three, play in the middle, wherever. Option number four, try to play somewhere over there and try to punish people who are playing on top of the hill. Option number four is to uh, sit, or option number five already, to sit somewhere here. Option number six, to go over there and try to spot the hill. Fellas, it is insane how you can play uh, this game. You have so many different options and everything. And as you can see, I decided to go for a most flexible option for myself and I decided to play here uh, in the middle. Since I have a good view range for a tier 4, uh, enemies are definitely not going to have a great time and I can definitely promise you that. Um, standard shell velocity is 900 meters, which is very nice, and 110 millimeters of penetration. This is a solid banana out of 10. Now gold, 180 millimeters of penetration and 1100 shell velocity as you can see it would be a bit more competitive for obvious reasons but uh, uh, it is still completely fine to go with the standard ammunition and I believe that's fair and square and everything. So we started game very very well in the first minute of the battle we got like 1001 damage and some assisting damage that's great that's amazing and this is beautiful and now before you are judging and saying Haha, this game is going to be easy give it a moment fellas this is not going to be four minutes game believe me uh, this is not going to be that simple as I would love to say we are seeing enemy uh, heavy tank who is getting spotted and obviously we are going to load uh, uh, APCR ammunition at this point and we want to penetrate him right um, T1 heavy can have very very tricky uh, armor and look Look at this, how well this tank is uh, uh, shredding this T1 heavy. I mean, this 
poor soul, he doesn't know where he is and he uh, doesn't know what the flying F is happening. Meanwhile, as you can see, enemy, enemies had a light tank in front and he did absolutely amazing and astonishing job to um, spot our team and that was a good play by this gentleman, right? So good for him. Anyways, we are sitting on 1.6 thousand damage already, which is nice and I am feeling good and I am considering, since enemies do not have the best view range, maybe we could kind of go through the middle. This is what is happening in my head, fellas. I'm not joking. I am actually considering maybe I can go through the middle and to get maximum use, but instantly I'm changing my mind because it is not... It is not victory yet. Pay attention at this. It is equal HP and I know if I will be there, I will be in the crossfire. And if I am going to be in the crossfire, um, this is not going to be a good play. And as you can see, I changed my mind right in time. Why so? Because... Um, our team kind of started throwing hit points and everything and I cannot simply afford this. So instead of making hardcore pressure through the middle, what we are going to do, we are going to try to punish uh, uh, enemies who are playing uh, on top of the hill or alternatively who are playing uh, um, right there. That's that's my mission and this is what I am aiming for. Fellas, greediness is very, very uh, disgusting thing. I can promise you that. And being greedy is no bueno sometimes. You know how many times I died just because I want to get more use? I am moving in front like crazy mother trucker and I am getting farmed? Yeah unfortunately but this is definitely the case anyways now we are enjoying ourselves and obviously we are punishing um we are punishing that poor russian t-34 and luckily he is dead still not victory for us we know there is a Stug somewhere sniping from the back. We know there is M10 somewhere here in the back. And once again, it is not a simple uh, play. It is very, very hard to do something for the enemy team. And I am considering my life choices. I am thinking, can I blind fire enemies here? Okay. I am thinking maybe I am getting uh, uh, blind shots. And maybe I am, but I paid a humongous price for my stupidity. We are sitting on 1.8 thousand damage, but at this point point we do not have any hp left just because i messed up i made a mistake and oh snap oh well what can you do so at this point we need to say slow down horse slow down and that's what we are going to do we are crafting a bit better distance um or greater distance between me and enemies and i am just trying to blind fire them left right and center I know it is very complicated game and I know we don't have that much, uh, uh, we cannot be that flexible as I could before taking pretty much 300 damage, right? So yeah, that's the thing. Patience. And pay attention how I loaded high explosives before just to figure out where enemies are playing and, you know, try to figure out in what bush they are exactly. I know the co one is very, very close to us and I kind of want to um, try to deal with this gentleman, but it's not, it is not so simple. Meanwhile, Esterva is getting spotted and I'm thinking, no. Uh, you know that was a mistake, sir, don't you? Beautiful. Uh, we are picking up the third kill and we have um, 1.9 thousand damage deal so far. Unfortunately, not much assisting damage, but fellas, you cannot uh, say I am not playing aggressively. I am playing as aggressive as I physically and possibly can. That's about it, fellas. I can't be more aggressive. I just simply can't. Anyways... All we need to do now, we need to be patient and wait until enemies will mess up. The thing is, I can easily try to make pressure towers the one line if I want to die. Um, I can easily make pressure against the cover one if I want to die. So as you can see, we just... World of Tanks, fellas, as a game. Uh, there is... One thing is very, very important, obviously patience. And if you are being impatient, you need to know when to push, you know? There are situations when you actually need to move from your position and you need to make pressure for enemies. That's how you are crafting the maximum use. Uh, but in the same time, there are situations like this when you simply cannot do anything and you cannot be aggressive. Because if you will, uh, you will regret your life choices and this is not going to be very good. Meanwhile, we are spotting the enemy cover one. That's very nice. Our 
pursue is punishing this gentleman and this is exactly what we want to see. I hope this cover one will get spotted once again and we are going to provide some spots for our Sue. That's what I am hoping for and look at this beauty. Cover one is making a humongous mistake. That's bad. That's bad play by the cover one. And I'm trying to punish him. I am hoping to punish him. And as you can see, he's down to one shotable. I'm playing. I am saying, Sue, please kill him. Kill him. Kill him, Sue. And the moment of truth, Sue unfortunately did not eliminate the cover one. Pay attention at the hit points. We are losing by 1,100 uh, 1, HP at this this point and um, the things are not looking that great fellas they still have m10 who never ever was spotted we are pretty much running out of the standard rounds but it is not a big deal because we have quite a bit of apcr so we can obviously uh, shoot them and let's get real apcrs is better than aps and that's why you should have some of them especially when you are having battles like this or alternatively whenever you are having um, quite bad matchmaking for yourself. Anyways, we need to figure out how to make it work, fellas. Uh, and what I am thinking, I am thinking taking position where our M10 is. Now you might think, skill, why would you do that? The thing is, I know I have a very good view range. I do not know this gentleman, he has skillet crew, does he have equipment, uh, does he have binos, uh, I do not know this and I know I can spot. So what we are going to do here, we are going to uh, park close to this gentleman and let's see what will happen, fellas. I am getting very, very close here and as you can see, this guy is leaving. I am looking towards him and I am saying thank you. Uh, that was a good situation for us and I hope this guy understood what we mean. And look at this beauty. Enemy, uh, we have a tank. And that's what I call great timing, fellas. And that's what I call great timing. Beautiful. This guy is dead. This is exactly what we was dreaming about and this is exactly what we want. So that's fine. We still have 5 minutes on the timer left and I am not going to rush anywhere. I am feeling completely fine here and we need to be patient and we need to do the things properly. If we are not going to be patient, this can be very bad. And as you can see, I really want to make in front. I, I really want to make pressure in front and I am saying risk it for the biscuit, mother truckers. Risk it for the biscuit. We are going in front and we are going to take the typical um, bush. Now pay attention to what will happen from the typical bush. Remember this stug which hit us before a couple of times because I remember this stug very, very, very well. What will happen? Patience. I definitely can't uh, push more. It is literally impossible. By the way, pay attention at the hit points. We are losing this battle by 800 HP and this is not looking great. But once again, wait, wait. Wait, that's all we need to do. And look at this. Stuck decided to go for a blind shot. Unlucky! Now, his idea to go for a blind shot wasn't bad, but unfortunately this idea to go for a blind shot pretty much uh, uh, slaughtered this guy. He got spotted just because he went for a blind shot. Uh, so yeah, even though he is a skilled player and he is doing the things properly, unfortunately at this point uh, it did not pay off. Believe me, fellas, things did not pay off for him. Meanwhile, um, enemy M10 decided to be aggressive himself. This is not a great idea for this gentleman for obvious reasons. And now we are going to craft a double bush. I hope I am not going to get spotted, so obviously I am trying to beat the living crap out of this guy and I am spotted. Uh-oh. And what to do now? Luckily, fellas, luckily for us, uh, we managed to kill this guy before he hit us. And we are kind of still down to one shotable for K1 and down to two shotable for Panzer 4 Hush, unless Panzer 4 Hush will. Uh, will have a derp gun. Anyways, what I want to do, I want to take the uh, line of the bushes in front of me. Why so? Because then we can have a very, very nice angle towards the cover one and we can eliminate him from the game. Beautiful. Three minutes on the timer. Enemies have one 
person left that's it one tank left nothing more than that so this is great all we are doing now we want to figure out where exactly he is and uh, last time we have seen this gentleman moving towards alpha six position so what we want to do we want to craft a crossfire from the middle right i believe that makes sense and let's see can we eliminate this panzer for harsh from the game i know we have the panther m10 there he has an extremely good dpm so obviously he can help us and all we need to do we need to spot this panzer no where the flying fru panzer show yourself mother trucker show yourself i am making a bit of pressure like this and obviously my main goal is to spot him as you can see we are not spotting this gentleman i am wondering where the flying f he is is he escaping or something and as you can see panzer escaped so what is what is my prediction and where i think this gentleman is he should be in the kilo eight position as you can see i even pinged on the map we have one minute 27 we have two minutes on the timer left and obviously uh, time is running out and I am thinking logically. If I would be Panzer, where the flying F I would be? There is two options. Either on top of the hill or either next to the red line um, Kilo 7. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Am I correct or am I incorrect? And uh, how the things will go? Hmm. Let's see, fellas. So, moment of truth. I am going up like this and can we spot Panzer? Ha 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 ha! Hello there! How are you doing? Um, look, he's in the crossfire. We have M10 who is helping us, so now Panzer has only one thing to do. He is trying to go up. I am loading high explosive ammunition and I want to keep him tracked for obvious reasons. And this is how this gentleman is getting destroyed. Such a beautiful game. 3.1 thousand damage visible, 800 assisting damage. It was close battle for most of the round and I had a blast um, while playing with this vehicle, at least in this round. Uh, but fellas, keep this in mind. Not every single battle is like this. And let's teleport into the scoreboard. Let go. And that was, fellas, very first ace we received with this tank. We have a top gun, we have high caliber, we have confederate medal. Uh, we have 3.3 thousand damage, 6 kills, uh, 800 assisting slash tracking damage. And we lost a bit of the profits because in the end of the day we ran out of the standard ammunition and we were forced to play um, with a gold. So yeah, that was, that was a game, fellas. It was very, very hard game. You think we are done? I have one more waiting for you and it's going to be also pretty interesting game. So let's go into the action, shall we? And we are back. What do we have? We have a shit river map. Um tier 5s against the tier 4s and this is going to be a completely different approach we are going to take uh, to this game. I can tell you one thing. I had plenty of games which uh, uh, in which we made more damage but this is not about damage this is about the uh, decision making and how you can um, change the battle outcome in a way by making one or another decision so let's see uh, first things first in this map i am in love of making pressure towards the kilo line especially if enemies are not going there aggressively aggressively themselves what you are doing you are taking this dip here or ditch or however you would call this and from here you can spot everyone here and if you are making pressure like this you can outspot every single gentleman who is uh, um, sitting next to the red line and this is very very important play and this is important situation uh, this is extremely good play if the things works well if you are meeting the lemming train in this position then you need to run for your life otherwise you are going to get killed um and it happened multiple times when i committed to play in this position and i was simply getting slaughtered so keep this in mind if you are wondering fellas how did i rate this vehicle on the index page i rated this vehicle as a uh, as a bad tank because as wrong as it sounds uh, there is so many more faster uh, and competitive tanks in the game for example if you are comparing this vehicle against the t-34 which is also a medium tank tier 5 
there is nothing to compare t34 has better dpm better gun handling more armor and everything and i can't rate this tank even playable because um in order to be very competitive with this tank you need to spam the full gold and so on so on in other words unfortunately but this vehicle is not great and i do not recommend to play with this tank uh, um overall uh, in other words cromwell is definitely the king of the of the tank speaking about the british medium tank line anyways and as you can see we committed here quite a bit um we slaughtered this uh, t28 and we got a bit assisting damage from the panzer who was sitting next to the red line and now all we need to do we need to make pressure for remaining enemy forces here as you can see we are pretty much not stopping we are just going and look at this um we are we are obviously spotting those gentlemen here and in the same time we are doing damage i mean this is the best combination of the things as possible and pay attention how many i repeat how many gentlemen do we have in the back who is supporting us we have matilda we have so 85b cover one t28 m10 i mean we have plenty of forces and once again all we need to do we need to open our eyes and we need to punish enemies for example this poor matilda i mean he just he just simply got destroyed he did not really understood what the flying have happened how fast he died and once again this is why i am i saying this position is very powerful because you can get plenty of assisting damage and you can have um, plenty of the damage dealt that's why i picked this replay um, over others in a way and look at this beauty kaboom 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 straight in the face to the um to the lago if i'm not mistaken so yeah here we go good they have six tanks who is defending the base but fellas six tanks uh they are not going to stop us uh we still have a lot of hp left and all we need to do we need to figure out how to punish enemies without getting punished ourselves and plus on top of that we have the cover one who is uh, uh, behaving like a sponge by saying this he is making a lot of a lot of pressure in front and obviously uh, while he is taking one for the team we are playing farming simulator in uh, 2021 uh, so as you can see our cover one got slaughtered but in the same time while um, enemies was uh, slaughtering cover one we pretty much farmed them all and out of six tanks they have only one tank left and once again this is not a bad situation for us meanwhile i see the stug has a derp gun i am very very well aware of that but luckily for us this gentleman missed so what that means that means we eliminated him from the game and uh, this game is very very quick and you know what is the funny thing of all this we have pretty much uh, um close to 4,000 combined and if we are speeding the things a bit up obviously i want to get a bit more use uh, if it is possible um, but uh, speed of this vehicle in the tier 5 is definitely not excellent and it is not amazing but still nevertheless we are going in front and we are thinking how to get more use and can we get more use luckily we found the t25 uh, who had a bit of the hit points and now we have bdr who is melting like ice cream on the hot summer day uh, we still secured our sex skill which is hip hip hooray and this is how we are finishing this battle pretty damn good fellas um uh, 4 000 combined in the tier for matchmaking i mean what do you want more from me uh it was very very good and now let's go to the leaderboard shall we and we are back fellas so we got ourselves ace wanker we got ourselves top gun high caliber we rigged brother in arms uh that's always nice and always welcome and we finish the game with 1.5 base experience and 2000 mm, damage and pretty much 2000 assisting damage 48,000 profits um made beautiful so now look at this we had plenty of uh, more damage games compared to the sand river we had 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.5 7 you know but fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen none of those games uh, we are uh, as informative probably as this one because they we are in a way um farming plantation if i can say so anyways it is about the time to say goodbye for cavalier um uh, 
We did as much as we physically and possibly could with this tank and now I believe there is only one way to do the things and that's selling Cavalier and never ever playing with this tank ever again. Um, and I can't say I will miss this vehicle because I won't but uh, you know that was an experience and I like playing with various tanks in the game just because I know every single tank's strength and I know every single tank weakness. So this is very very important thing, don't you think so? So fellas, thank you very much for watching. That was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.